In this video guide, I'm going to show you how to breed your pals to get eggs. It's a little bit more confusing, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, before you build the mixed farm, which is where we're going to be making the breeding pen, you're going to need cake. And to make cake, you're going to need a few things first. In order to get cake, you're going to need the ranch. The ranch is a thing that you can build on your base. And this ranch is going to be a place where you're going to set certain animals or pals, I should say, to farm, which basically means they're going to occasionally drop their loot. There are three of them that you need specifically. You need Bee Guard, Mazarina, and Chiquipi. This is because the chicken is going to drop eggs on the ground. The cow is going to drop glosses of milk because that's how that works. And the bee is going to drop jars of honey. Those three things are required to make cake. For Mozarina, the cow, you can find it at these habitats over the world, as you can see on the map right here. This is where you'll be finding it in this area. I don't really think I need to tell you where to find chickens. I mean, chickens are pretty much, you know, everywhere. So yeah, you should know how to get a chicken. For Bee Guard, this is probably the hardest of the three to get. You can check its habitat over here. It's usually going to be around like level 20 or around that kind of area. So you'll find it in groups of like, you know, bees with an Elizabeth, and you can go ahead and catch it there. Now they should naturally go to the ranch in your base, but if they're not doing this, all you got to do is pick them up like this, go to the ranch, throw them at the ranch, and now they're assigned to the ranch. And now that's their job. All right, fantastic. But now we need two other ingredients to make cake. Now these ones are a lot easier and it's something you've probably been doing already. And that's wheat. So you gotta have wheat farms. So this means you're gonna need farmers and you're gonna also need waterers on your base so that they can keep making you wheat and berries as well, the red berries, which you sh is like the most common resource for you know feeding your pals. You should have a ton of those as well. You're going to need to turn that wheat into flour. And that's what we're going to need the mill for. The mill is going to be used to produce flour, which is a key ingredient in making cake. So in the mill, you're going to select recipe. You're going to select the flour and you're just going to turn all your wheat into flour, just like that. It will need watering to, to actually work. Kind of interesting. And now you'll need to go to your cooking pot. As you can see over here, this is the ingredients to craft it and the level that I unlock it at on the Xbox Game Pass version of the game. You're going to have to make a cooking pot and then you're going to go ahead, select recipe. You're going to select cake. You can see all the ingredients on the screen right now. Flour, red berries, milk, egg and honey. Quite a difficult thing to make. You're also going to need one of these per every single egg that you breed at the breeding pen. You should also note that this thing takes very long to uh, a, a craft. So you're going to need like really good fire pals to speed this up as much as you can. I mean, this is like, a, I think he's a level three. And look how slow this cake is cooking. And our cake is practically complete in a second. We're going to grab it. And there we go. We're going to grab the one cake. Now I've actually got my breeding pen set up in my farming base where they're grabbing ores for me. So what you do need to do is build the mixed farm just like this. It's this one right over here, as you can see, pretty simple and easy to craft. It requires a male and a female to produce eggs. This, quite weirdly enough, is a male and a female of any species. So I've got like a male Nightwing over there, and I've got a female Van Worm Christ. And like you did with the ranch, if you want to assign them to here, all you got to do is lift them up. So you just press the lift key and you throw them into the ranch over here to assign them. You can see right now I have one out of one male, one out of one female. Now, the main reason why I believe you want to breed is so that you can pass down specific traits, passive skills. For example, if I go on my Tansy over here, you can see here it has a passive skill called Vanguard. It's a really good one. If you get another pal that has another good one, you can essentially breed and maybe get this skill on the other one or maybe even get both of them. The confusing thing for me right now is, is this, right? So we've got a male and a female here, two different species, right, of two different birds. So what we do here is we open up this chest and this is where you're going to put the cake in and they're going to eat it immediately. You should know that while the cake does have a spoil timer in your inventory, it doesn't have a spoil timer in the mixed farm. So don't worry about it spoiling. It will stay here infinitely waiting for you. And as soon as this like bar is loaded up here, as you can see that like that orange ball loading again, it's immediately spawn an egg for me. And if I go ahead and I take this egg, it's a large damp egg. Now, what do you think this Pokemon's going to be? Now, to give you an idea, my Nightwing has the Muscle Head passive skill, and the Van Worm has a Swift and a Clumsy. 
I really want that swift for the fast speed. Let me go ahead and hatch this egg for you. So I'm gonna go put the large damp egg inside here and we're gonna go ahead and incubate it immediately and we get something you would not expect, Pen King. But it's got three freaking yellow things. Dude, I don't know why Pen King is the the mix between those two. It seems like depending what kind of breed you get, you might just get like a completely different species. Maybe if I use two Nightwings, I would get two Nightwing, uh, a Nightwing baby. I'm not too sure. I'm still in the early stages of testing here. But if we go ahead and we look at this Pen King that I just made, if I go ahead and look at its stats, this is absurd. It's got Swift, Musclehead, and Logging Foreman. Three almost maxed out yellow stats, which is pretty nuts. That's crazy. So this is why you're going to want to breed to pass down these amazing passive skills until you get them all on one pal. I hope you guys found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.